This is question four from paper 3-2 from the 2020 Cambridge International Summer Exams. Up the top right of the screen, you'll find a card that will bring you to the playlist that has all my solutions for this paper. And in the description below the video, you'll find a link to an image of this question, so you can try it before looking at my solution. Okay, this question gives us the equation of this curve here, y is equal to cosine x multiplied by sine 2x. And it tells us uh, that it has a stationary point between the interval um, x is bigger than 0 and x is less than uh, a half pi, or pi over 2. And it wants us to find that stationary point, given, um, or oh, just the x-coordinate of that stationary point, given, given the answer correct to three significant figures. Okay, in the exam, we're not going to be able to, to know what the, how to draw this out. Well, we could if we spent a little time on it, but we're not going to do that. But... We're not in an exam right now. Let's take advantage of a graphing calculator online. It'll pop up on the screen now. What you're seeing is um, this, this equation graphed out. Uh, you can see it's very squiggly, but remember they're only asking us between zero and a half pi, which is about uh, 1.6. So between zero and 1.6. Let's bring you back to the main screen now. That means uh, between there, there's just one hump, pretty much. So we're looking for this one stationary point. Now, without knowing any, I just I just show you that because it's interesting to see what we're dealing with. Um, but without knowing any of that, they tell us stationary point. We should straight away be thinking dy dx, and dy dx is something uh, we can do here. It's not an easy differentiation, but it's not in impossible either. We have two terms. This is a product rule. The product rule tells us we differentiate one of them. Let's uh, differentiate the first one. The derivative of cosine is minus sine x. We leave the other one alone, sine uh, 2x. And then we add on, uh, we do the opposite. We differentiate the, the one we didn't do first and leave the other one alone. So let's differentiate uh, sine 2x. We'll get uh, the 2 will come out from the, because we have to use the chain rule now. Uh, then we'll differentiate sine 2x, which will become cosine 2x. And uh, yeah, that, oh sorry, and then we multiply by this left alone, which is cosine x. Let me go ahead and rub this little doodle out of the way. And we know this is equal to zero, because they told we're looking for x when this equals zero. The, 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 <laughs> the, the derivative is equal to zero at a stationary point. So uh, will I edit that? Do, 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 oh, no, I think I'll leave it. Um, it's equal to zero at a stationary point. And so basically we're finding what x is when this equals zero. So we need to clean all this up. There's a, a couple of choices to do. We have rules for sine 2x, the, what it equals. We know what cosine 2x, we can, what that, it, we can separate, separate it out into sines and cosines. Um, but you know, I'm just gonna stay trying to put it together as it is, and I, I'll get into tangents, I think. Well, let, let, let me show you what I mean. Uh, first of all, let's add this to both sides. Uh, which will leave 2 cosine 2x, two cosine x is equal, adding this to this side will destroy it, add it to this side, we'll get sine x sine 2x. All right, now let's uh, divide both sides by cosine x and by cosine 2x. We'll be left with 2 on the left, and on the right, sine x divided by cosine x is tangent x. Uh, sine 2x divided by cosine 2x is tangent 2x. Um, now I'll, I'll, I'll have to go ahead and, uh, and find out what tangent 2x is. Um, so, so I get all tangent x's basically. I, I only want one thing. Uh, although tangent x and tangent 2x are related, they're a little too difficult for me to do. So let me look up my formulas and um, let's see. 2 is equal to tangent x and instead of tangent 2x, I, look, I, I get this from my formulas, I look up uh, that it's equal to 2 tangent x divided by 1 minus uh, tangent x squared. Have a look at uh, why this is, we can go ahead and prove this, I don't think it's up in the channel at the moment, but you can look at it online somewhere, why is tangent 2x equal to this, and you can find it derived. Uh, right, we can play around with this, all we have is one thing here, no, we have tangent x, tangent x, tangent x. We should be able to get all these into one tangent x. Let's start doing that. Let's multiply both sides by this denominator here. We get 2 minus 2 tangent x squared. That's 
1 minus tan x multiplied by this 2. And that is equal to uh, tan x multiplied by tan x, or there's a 2 there, 2 tan x squared. Um, am I missing some number? Oh no, okay, I see what I'm doing. I can divide everything by 2. Uh, let me wait to do that. Let's see, we'll move this over to equals, turn it into a plus. Uh, 2 is equal to tan x squared, 2 tan x squared, another 2 with tan x squared, we have 4 tan x squared. And um, let's then divide by 4. 2 divided by 4 is a half. Is equal to tan, um, tan squared x. Let's change that around and get the square root. Tan x is equal to plus or minus uh, the square root of 1 over 2. Okay, um, then we just need to solve this for x. Uh, before I do that, uh, let's, let me point out that we understand tan x a lot. You don't have to... Yeah, the calculator will do this for you. But we understand tan x a lot. It looks like this, um, and it looks like this. It continues on forever, these are squiggly lines. Uh, but they only asked us between 0 and pi over 2. That's this world here. This world, oh, that's, that's outside over there. So the, we're only interested in this one answer we'd get here. Um, and uh, the reason I point that out is because tan x is never going to be equal to minus square root of a half. It's never, there's no answer down there for it. Just, there would be, you would get an answer on the calculator. It'd give you this answer or this answer, depending on your calculator. Uh, my one gives this one. Some calculators give this one. But my point is, we don't need this minus. So we can go ahead and get rid of that. Tan x will equal square root of a half. So we can uh, get uh, x is equal to the inverse of tangent, um, square root of a half. Put that into a calculator and we will find out what x is. Uh, let me check my notes. It will come out as 0 0.615. Uh, yes, I believe that's correct. I hope I'm not looking at the wrong page. The inverse tangent of square root of a half is this. Some students would have wrote two answers. They would have wrote um, the inverse tangent of minus square root of a half. But it's not because... It won't, well, it's fine actually if you got it, if you wrote that answer down and then put a line through it because they did tell us the answer between, between zero and, what's that, about 1. Uh, 1. 1.6 or so. So that's the only valid answer in this question. And if we go back to our original drawing, uh, let me put it back up on the screen now. Our original drawing, if we look at it, we have a little look at the numbers, it does look like the stationary point, the hump is at about 0 0.615. All right, uh, if you have any follow-up questions, see any mistakes I made, anything that you're unsure on, let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer you. Thanks for watching, have a great day.